Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back Ruminaton. It's a brand new day, which means a new AI tool has just been released. And in this video, I want to introduce you to a new AI CLI tool released by Augment Code. So a few months back, we had covered Augment Code, which is a powerful agentic AI extension with the most comprehensive context engine for working with large code bases. It has the ability to quickly figure out your code base and what you want to achieve, which is something that other tools don't have. It can also run in the cloud as autonomous software agents just like Google Jules or OpenAI Codex. And just today, they have stepped things up with the launch of Augie CLI. Yep, they are bringing all that agentic development power right into the command line. With Augie, everyone who loves to use command line tools can use the same powerful AI coding agent powered by Augment's industry-leading context engine. Now, you might be thinking, don't we already have a bunch of CLI tools already? What makes this one different from, say, Cloud Code or Gemini CLI? Well, for a one, Augie CLI is powered by Augment's advanced context engine, which gives it a much deeper understanding of large code bases. That means less hallucination, fewer wasted tokens, and more effective solution with the added ability to spin up autonomous AI agents on demand. Augie CLI is also integrated tightly with Augment Code, so you can have all of the amazing features in your terminal, such as deep contacts, custom slash comments, MCP, multi-models, prom enhancer, user and repo rules, task lists, and native integration. You can also automate workflows, such as using GitHub Actions to automatically create issues and pull requests in GitHub. All cool features from Augment are packed to the CLI tool so that you can use it in both your favorite IDE or in server environment where you don't have access to IDEs. Next, let me show you how to get started with Augie. Now, before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Now, because Augie is a part of Augment Code, you will need to have an Augment Code account to start using it. To install the CLI tool, you also need to have Node.js available on your computer. So if you don't have it already, you can go to nodejs.org and then download it for free. Next, go to Augie documentation page and just copy the npm install command as shown here and then open your terminal, paste the command, and then press enter. After a while, the package will be installed and you'll have to log in to your Augment account. Uh, just run augie-login and follow the instructions. And after that, you will be asked to enable indexing towards your overall code base or your workspace. This is important so that Augment Context Engine can understand your project. For context, I have this CRM dashboard front end that's still in progress. I have some menus already available, but more menus here are not yet implemented. Once the indexing is complete, you can start sending instructions or commands to Augie. You can simply type slash to see all the commands available on this tool, such as selecting the editor to use, sending feedback, and adding GitHub workflow integrations and many other things. And if you want to get a better idea of all the commands and see what they are capable of doing, you can run the help command, which will explain all the commands available in Augie. Now, I recommend you to set the model first, so if you type n slash model, you have the ability to select from two different models available, the GPT-5 or Cloud for Sonnet, which is the default model. Both are very capable, but I will choose Sonnet 4 for now, but you can use GPT-5 if you want to. And that's about it for the features. You can start instructing Augie to work on your code base. For example, I will ask it to develop the deals pipeline and analytics page, now, one particularly useful feature of Augie that I haven't found on other CLI tool is the enhanced prom feature. If you press Ctrl P here, Augie will take your current prom and try to make it better by automatically adding relevant context, structure, and conventions from your code base. And here is the enhanced prom. You can see that it's very detailed. In the deals page, it will list all deals and add the ability to add new deals. In the pipeline page, it will develop a Kanban-style drag-and-drop interface for the deal's progress. And the analytics page will show important key metrics and charts for the data available in the app. So instead of writing detailed prompts from scratch, you can start with a simple idea and let the prompt enhancer transform it into a comprehensive, well-structured prompt. You might have seen this feature in other IDEs, but it's the first time I saw this added to CLI tool, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Okay, so the agent has started working on the request here. 
After a while, Augie will create a task list and then proceed to perform the tasks one by one. First, it will create the deals page, creating the components and structure for that page, before proceeding to the pipeline page, and then finish it with the analytics page. Once all tasks are done, Augie will run the local server and then check for any error. Here, it finds a small error from the Tailwind CSS used on the app, so it will proceed to fix that. And once all is done, it will generate a report describing the changes that were made. Now, let's take a look at the app. Uh, let's try the deals page here. And now we can see the deals that are being worked on the CRM. And we can also add a new deal here. Uh, we can see this pop-up screen for adding a new deal. And then we also have the pipeline page implemented. Here we can see a Kanban board style drag and drop for deals and their current progress. We can just pick up the stage card here and then drop it to other boards, which is quite awesome. Next, we also have the analytics page, which contains metrics and charts from the available data. Mm, I think some charts here have missing data. Uh, we'll need to fix that later with Augie. But yeah, that's mostly the pages that were implemented from the request. The most interesting feature for me is the pipeline page here. It's really cool how the AI is able to figure out how to render the data as a drag and drop Kanban board. We can also see that the deals data in the boards affect the metrics up here. If we move a deal to the close one board here, we can see that the win rate rises. So that's pretty nice from Augie. Next, I want to show you how Augie can use Augment native integration to extend its capabilities. If you have Augment installed on VS Code, you will know that Augment have what's called native integration. This native integration is similar to MCP servers, but it's more powerful and more secure as it's custom made just for that service. Let me show you an example. First, you need to have Augment code installed on VS Code. I already have it installed here and then open the settings menu. Here, I will connect Augment with my GitHub account and once the connection is created, Augment can interact with GitHub using its API methods in instead of from MCP actions. What's interesting is that this native integration also works in Augie, which means we can instruct Augie to commit, push, create pull requests, basically anything GitHub allows the agent to do. Let's see a quick demo. Uh, here I will try to push the CRM dashboard code we just developed to this GitHub repo. Uh, I have just initialized it recently. So back in Augie, if you run the MCP status command, you will see that no MCP servers are configured. But watch as I will ask it to commit all changes and push it to the GitHub repo. Now wait for a moment here. Alright, we can see that Augie can use the native integration to commit the changes here and then push it to the GitHub repo. So here's a short description from Augie. It committed 20 files with 5000 insertions to the GitHub repo. Now here in the repo, we can see that Augie just pushed the commit right here, so that's pretty awesome. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use these channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. So overall, that's how you can use Augie as your coding agent. It's a powerful CLI tool that has all the features of Augment code, such as comprehensive code base indexing, native integration, MCP servers, and many more. There are other features we haven't explored yet, such as custom commands and workflows, but let me know in the comments if you want me to cover them as well. All in all, Augie is an awesome addition for Augment Code users. As you probably know, Augment Code is one of the most expensive coding agents available today at $50 per month. So with Augie in the mix, you don't have to switch to another tool when coding in the terminal, and Augment Code can handle your coding workflows end to end. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think about Augie? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!